It look it looks rubbery, doesn't it? It looks sort mm -hmm. of yeah. like <coughs> what's that? It just seems to be sort of rubbery. Isn't that strange? I can't understand that. That seems so strange. But the illusion is very strong. You'd think that this strong stainless steel was actually getting flexible. I'll just hold it in my hands like this. Watch how strong that effect is. Look at this. Oh, look, look. Oh, Luke, Luke. As someone who does this trick frequently says, Luke, Luke. It's going, it's going. Luke, Luke. That's just funny. You hold your hand out yeah. if you would, please. And just, oh, look at that. It falls oh. in two pieces. Yeah. Well, you can have that. The inox is not that strong. Oh, but I ended up down here. I'm very sorry. Thank you very that much. Good. The Anytime. demonstration. So that's what Yuri Geller was doing too, and telling no, everybody. No, I can't say that. I can't because I'll be sued for another thirty million dollars. Right. What I say <laughs> is that I do it by trickery, and all of the magicians I know do it by trickery. Even twelve-year-old kids will learn to do this trick now. And this is a trick. There's no question of it. It is a simple sleight of hand trick. When Mr. Geller does it, he says he does it with divine power, and I can tell him one thing, Mr. Geller, if you're doing it by divine power, you're doing it the hard way because it's much easier this way. Yep. Um, now, what can we do against these false beliefs, people ah. that just fall into these traps? And education. That's the secret of the whole thing. I find, particularly in America, the state of education is, is very, very poor. That's why it's rather refreshing to come here to Europe, because the standards are much higher. Kids are getting out of high school that can barely read and write. And uh, the old joke is that uh, I got this certificate for graduating from high school. Mom, what does it say? Really, it's almost that bad. The standards of education are so poor that basic things are not taught them. Kids aren't taught how to think critically. They aren't taught how to examine evidence and come to a conclusion from the evidence. They believe everything they find in the sensational newspapers. And the media is largely to blame for that misinformation. Uh, talking about money, we were just talking about money. You've got a prize out yes, also. Yes, I rather do. Some years ago it was $10,000, and that was awardable to any person or persons who could provide evidence of any paranormal, supernatural, or occult event of any kind under proper observing conditions. Well, last um, October 25th, I went on email, and I suggested to my fans out there, why don't you pledge $1,000? Don't send me the money. Just send me a pledge, a formal, written, signed pledge, saying that if and when I have to pay my $10,000, you'll add $1,000 to it. Well, the pledges started to come in for five, one, two, fifteen thousand, all kinds of amounts of money. And finally, we got them all collected here in a book, which is appropriately, uh, it's called the 2000 Club, because we think by the, by the year 2000 we can disband it. And this is the, the pledges in here. There are $520,000 in pledges in this book. And this prize is available to any psychic who wants to come along, do the thing that he or she says they can do under proper observing conditions with enough of a database so that it can be established, and they collect this prize. Why aren't the psychics knocking at the door right this minute trying to collect a half million dollar prize? I think the reason is that they know very well they haven't got the powers and can't prove them. Mm -hmm. um, how do you personally respond when somebody asks you what zodiac sign you are? I say that, uh, I ask first of all, what does it mean to be born under any particular sign of the zodiac? Most people don't know. What it really means is that the sun is in that sign of the zodiac at the moment that you're born. Now the sign of the zodiac doesn't agree with the astronomical sign, that is the astronomical constellation, because they're all off. Virgo is a very large constellation, but they've given a much smaller section of the sky, one twelfth. And Libra is very small, but they've widened that many times over to give it a wider section, so it has no basis in reality, even as far as the mythical constellations are concerned. But since the uh, thing called precession of the equinoxes, it turns out that I, born August the 7th, actually the sun is in the sign Cancer on August the 7th every year now, because the sky has altered. It's moved ahead a wee bit every year that goes by. They didn't know about that when they made up the rules. So if you're born in any particular sign, particularly in the first half of it, you're probably born in the sign before, and you didn't even know it. So astrology has no basis in fact whatsoever, and it simply doesn't work as a science or even as a mythology. Mm -hmm. right. um, how you, you've been debunking psychic healers too. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, so rather What's your experience with these? Well, the psychic healers, they claim by striking on the forehead and Jesus has healed you and whatnot. We followed up on 104 cases from my book, The Faith Healers, and we found out that out of 104, 
zero had been healed because they only belonged to three classes. People who never had the disease in the first place because they had no medical records that showed they had the disease. They just chose to believe it, so they didn't have the disease. Second group was people who still had the disease they thought they'd been healed of. And the third group was people who had already died from it by the time I got around to investigate them. That last group is not very uh, happy to know about, but nonetheless, it's there. Faith healing simply doesn't work. And I think we've established it in not only those 104 tests, but many other tests. I've thrown open my prize of half a million dollars to any faith healer who can show that as a result of his or her intervention, that a disease was healed. None of them have come to pick me up on it. Isn't this the, the most uh, tragic chapter in the paranormal? Because of all these people are really ill and they, they are just... Uh, That's right. It is very sad. And if you had to write that book, uh, it was not a happy experience for me to call at a door, for example, knock on the door, and just as I'm knocking on the door, they bring out the, the body bag and the stretcher with the man's body on it that I was about to speak to. And yet he was convinced the day before that he was healed and that he wasn't uh, going to have any further effects in this because Jesus has healed me. Well, he was wrong. And he had to, to learn the hard way. The, the problem is that people throw away medication. And when you have something like diabetes or something like that that is plaguing you, if you throw away your medication on diabetes, you're going to have serious problems, of course. It'll probably kill you. And people throw nitroglycerin tablets away. They, they do pretty dangerous things that can cost them their lives. Would you like to see one more miracle? Yes, please. All right. Uh, I have, oh yes, I do have one. I thought I didn't have one. This is an example of what we call psychokinesis. This is supposed to be yeah. mind control, okay? Mind control over objects nonsense. without touching them. Uh, that's right. Now, I'm going to uh, ask you if you'll do this for me, and it, it may be difficult if you've never done it before, but I want you to concentrate on it, all right? I'm just going to take this, it's a Bic pen, a stick pen, all right? I'm going to balance it on the edge of the table, then I'm going to turn away. And I want you to imagine that with your mind, you're pressing down on this end of the pen as it sticks over the table, all right? Now, I just want you to concentrate on that. You imagine that you're pressing down on the white end of the pen now with your mind. Press on it. Press on it. It's going to work. You do it all by yourself. I'm not even looking. I'm not turned towards it at all. Press with your mind on the end of the pen as it sticks out. I did it. Over the table. A miracle. And you've never done this before? No. That's astonishing that you could do it I'm with no exercise. practice whatsoever. We're going to exercise more, I hope, tonight. Okay, Sonny, thank you very much. For it's been a pleasure. Thank you for asking me. Cut! That's it. We all go home. Informatie, studiekring voor kritische evaluatie van het paranormale en de pseudowetenschappen op het telefoonnummer 477 47 18 of fax. 477-4301. Meneer, mevrouw, waar gaat de bus naartoe? Waar gaat de bus naartoe? Gaat die bus naartoe? Cultuur kent veel gezien.